you know, kind of marveling at how Ari could seem to anticipate what he was going to do. And we didn't know what he was going to do. These were not um, rehearsed moments. Uh, so it's a kind of uh, moment in cinema, which I think I'll remember my whole life because they don't happen that often. I was familiar with jo Joanna's work um, for her comedy work, but I'd seen more of her film work actually. I knew that she was really known for her comedy. Um, and our casting director, Shaheen Baig, uh, when we were looking for talent, suggested her. And I was immediately drawn to her because she, she, she had a physical resemblance to my mum. And that was quite powerful for me um, in, her, in her height, in her size, in her face. Um, Joanna has incredibly um, powerful eyes that kind of reveal everything. Um, and my mum has that. And so that was quite a superficial draw, but that, that was quite powerful for me. And I also just love the idea that she had done a lot of comedy. Um, I think comedy is a really clever way of, of concealing quite a deep, dark well. Um, and I thought that there would be, there would be um, space to kind of explore deeper under the surface. And Joanna was incredibly open to that. She, she's a very open book. She's very, um, yeah, she was very open with her life with me. And it's funny, she's, and she's spoken about it. She's known for her comedy, but she feels far more in tune with the kind of, um, the more serious work that she's done, the dramatic work that she's done. Grief is that kind of thing that, there is no language needed, really. Um, I think language is an interesting thing because it, 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 it can include and exclude. And I grew up in a family where my father speaks Punjabi um, and my mom learned how to speak Punjabi so she could communicate with his family. But as kids, we could only speak English. So it was quite interesting being in family dynamics where we were trying to kind of, we always felt like, me and my sisters always felt like we were outside of that circle. And I guess you kind of learn how to communicate through kind of nonverbal forms and you get to pick up cues in a different way. And I wanted that for the film. I wanted, I wanted Mary to, in this dynamic, although she can speak and communicate with Ahmed's family, when she's with this French family, it's, it's how she kind of uh, communicates and creates a connection when she can't really understand what they're saying. And it's also used in certain scenes to actually the son, Solomon, to, um, to kind of manipulate the scene, take control of the scene, of, of, of the dynamic. And um, I like how language can do that, how you can use it to really exclude characters or bring them in. When we lose people that we love, I think they be can actually become more present in our lives. I think um, that they, they kind of transpose into the things that they left behind, into their clothes, into their music, into the recipes that they've left for us. They, bec they become, sometimes they, they become a bigger part of our life. I think like, you know, I live in London and I have so many friends that live around me and I hardly see them. I see them a couple of times a year. And I think there's something about that kind of access to people. When you have that, that access readily, you don't take advantage of it. But when you've lost someone, when you lose them, all you want is to have that kind of final embrace or a, another kind of conversation, that kind of searching for the pieces of that person. Murakami actually said that um, if anybody wants to turn his short stories into any sort of movies, um, they can, anybody can do anything on their own devices. And uh, he might have an opinion too about his long stories, but for short stories, he was actually quite fine. So um, I, had, I had freedom for that. I, had my, I took my liberty. But um, instead of taking his um, words, um, I wanted to respect his world, the world that he described by his words, but not the words themselves. So, um, and also um, I wanted to respect all these characters that he created. So I wanted to visualize his world rather than his exact words.
な話をしてしまう。And、uh, these characters, they don't really talk much in a normal situation. And obviously, you can see they are a bit hesitant in the beginning, but they get to talk more as they drive along. And、um, I'm really familiar with the situation myself. And,、um, and also, I wanted, really wanted to respect that. So that, I just really wanted to describe that. It takes a while to get them to talk, get them to get talking, but once they talk, they talk. So、um, that's, that's why it took about 90 minutes for them to start proper conversation, as you can see. I wasn't interested at all in making a period piece. I tried to make the movie be an experience that could be seen and worked, not regarding the period, not regarding the gender, also, you know. And that was my main question can we be this girl? Um, no matter if we're a man or, or, or a woman, you know, and no matter if it's in the 60s or today. And unfortunately, I know that it is also today, you know. While talking with Annie Arnaud, I realized that she was trying to get to the, her exact memories, you know, and I wanted to do something that could be. that could actually give the audience the same feeling, but not in the same place. I wanted. To give the exact feeling of what it is、uh, to be that girl. So, to hear her breathing, to、um, move with her. And we made a huge、uh, work with the DP, with Laurent Angy, because he had to follow Anna Maria Bartolome, my, my comedian, as if they were one and one only person. So,、uh, it was almost something like dancing, you know, to have them moving together. And I And I don't cut that much. So、uh, we have to rehearse a lot、uh, in the morning and then jump into the, into the void, you know, and see what's happening.、Um, and so I really try to e m b e d that d o m you know, how it is to be a girl walking to the unknown, you know, and the frame helped me a lot doing that because it's a nearly square frame. And a, so you don't see people、uh, coming into the, this frame, people just appear. So she's trying not to be seen. And the more she's pregnant, the more she needs to hide. And I feel her tension in her body because somebody, the people appear on screen, and we are in the same feelings as, as she is, you know. So I had to use every,、uh, it's not tricks, it's not the right word, but every. Method that I could find to be her and, and, and give the audience the feeling that we are all this girl. Totally important to feel that there's some way in which you can en enrich the project、um, or, or hope to, you know. And also, you know, I you feel nervous about that. I felt nervous about, you know, telling a story in、um, what I think is the heartland of America, you know, which is.、Mm. You know, 1925, the West, where so much of the mythology of America is born. You know, thinking back on it, I feel like, oh, you know, it was most of those situations, it was just, you know, as few people in the space as possible, sometimes even just Ari and myself and Ben. And、um, it was just kind of exciting to feel how Ari and Ben felt into each other or locked into each other. And,、um, you know, maybe I'd just whisper, like, can we do that again? You know, like, try not to break the spell of the mood that Ben had found for himself.、Um, and just, you know, kind of marveling at how Ari could seem to anticipate what he was going to do. And we didn't know what he was going to do. These were not、um, rehearsed moments.、Uh, so it's a kind of、uh, moment in cinema, which I think I'll remember my whole life because they don't happen that often. You know, it's nice to be able to achieve a plan, but it's something so much more、um, magical、uh, when real life、um, exceeds your expectation. You know, like, for example, when nature itself seems to collude and you've got, you know, leaves fluttering down. I mean, it's not sort of someone from the Greens department throwing leaves in, you know, that just actually happened.、Um, you know, I do it really because of the,、um, the joy of、uh, discovery and that things may happen because you're working with extraordinary actors like Benedict,、um, who you intend to set free.、Um, and they're going to do things you have no idea what they can be. But with the friendship that you've created with them and the trust,、um, 
that there is a opportunity for spontaneity that you that is is something I could never actually have um, managed as a first time filmmaker. Um, I wanted more control, and and now you know as I am, I guess grown up <laughs> question. <laughs> um, I um, yeah, I yearn to be um, surprised, really. You know.